Thanks nice for warm day, sunny day, front everybody out. <laughs> I saw my breath this morning though, I don't know. Go ahead. It's safe to call this a must win game. <laughs> yeah, you can call this one a must win game. This is a must win game for sure. It's like I said, you know, there's not you know, during the season there's not games that are like that, you know, until you get to a point where okay, we gotta win to advance, we gotta win to move into the playoffs, whatever, and uh, obviously Wednesday's game is a must win game for both teams. There's been a lot of talk about guys, you know, maybe look not necessarily looking past Colorado, but looking forward to the possibility of playing Portland. Is that is that a balancing act to be? I think I think that's questions that you guys are putting into their minds, you know, not questions that they have in their minds. You know, we we know who we play on Wednesday. We play Colorado, and that's all we're focused on is Colorado. We're not looking beyond that, you know. But obviously, if you get asked the question, you know, how would you feel about playing these guys next? You want to be nice and you want to answer the question, you know. But uh, you know, we talk about it. You know, and want to make sure that, you know, that's not a reflection of what we're thinking because there is nothing beyond Colorado, you know, Colorado, and then we think beyond that. Any updates on Obafemi Martins and his I uh, tried to train yesterday, uh, you know, came through parts of training all right, uh, you know, felt tighter today, so we decided just to keep him inside. Uh, it's still, you know, he's a very talented player. So if he wakes up and comes out of bed tomorrow and says, hey, it feels great today like it did on, on Monday where he felt he could go out and train, you know, then that's going to change things for us. You know, if we, have to, if we have to decide today, he wouldn't be playing. Uh, but we'll have to see how he feels tomorrow because it's been one of those things where he's felt better on one day, not as good on the next day. Is it still the same groin issue with the, yeah. the yeah. pelvic whatever? Yeah, the adductor and the groin. Yeah. You guys have been so good in must-win games with an Open Cup and Tigres and Santos early in second leg of playoff games. Is there something that you've liked about what your team has done kind of in those games? Well, you know, I mean, our team's had a good mentality in those games, you know, and it's certainly the run in the Open Cup, you know, for four years, you know, we went through a pretty successful run there. Uh, you know, it's, it's just something you, you know that uh, you got to give everything you have. There is no tomorrow, and you've got to play with that co complete passion and commitment, but you also have to play with uh, thought and intelligence at the same time, and I think our team has brought a good mix of those into into games. Sometimes we've struggled more when we've gone into a two-game series. Uh, you know, it's like when it's a one-off, we have seem to have done all right, but, uh, you know, again, it's a, it's a new season, you know, right now with the playoffs, and we have to bring the right mentality. Uh, Colorado's going to be prepared, they're going to be ready, and we have to be ready for them. You saw the Rapids pretty recently, but uh, how were they playing uh, as the season ended? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously the last result with us with them was a very positive result for them, and uh, it was not a good one for us, but, you know, you try and look beyond the result and look, are we getting chances, are we getting shots, and I think in, uh, you know, in uh, de definitely the last two games where we played Colorado, we had opportunities, we had shots on goal. We have to make uh, use of those, and uh, we certainly have to tighten up and not give up the goals that we gave up uh, in our last game with them. So, um, you know, how they played at the end of the season, their two-game series with, with Vancouver, they gave up some goals, uh, you know, but uh, on the same token, they're a team that's come a long way from last year. They were a non-playoff team. They're now a playoff team. And, uh, you know, we've got to be prepared for a team that's very hungry and motivated. Is there anything you're able to take away from the, the Open Cup game earlier this year? Um, or is that just something that you don't even bring up at this point? Man, yeah, that's, being a one -off game? that's a long time ago, you know. So, uh, you know, we're, our focus, like I said, right now is on Colorado. Our focus is on uh, a little bit of revenge for the last time we played them and to make sure we come out uh, alert right from the opening whistle. What can you take away from that last game against Colorado and like you were just saying, how do you use that as motivation for this match? Well, it's motivation because everybody knows what the scoreline is and everybody was embarrassed that night. So uh, I think guys are guys are motivated from that. And uh, you know, the other thing you take away is is being alert because we gave up two goals, you know, in that game in the first 10, 12 minutes of the game, you know, because we weren't alert. How difficult is this quick turnaround? Just having the two days of training between matches. Uh, it is what it is, you know, I mean, uh, you know, is it ideal? No, it's not ideal, but it's the same for them as it is for us. And uh, it's it's a position we're in. Uh, so we we just have to make do, you know, we have to make do and then we have to use it. And it's mind over matter at this point. Anyone with a job has to think about their own job security. How much do you even allow yourself to think about your own or does that motivate you? In any way? I coach every day like I'm going to be here tomorrow. I and mean, if you start coaching 
like you feel that you could be gone tomorrow, then uh, you're going you're gonna to coach out of fear and you're going to make decisions out of fear. You have to make decisions that you think are good for the team and are going to help the team win. And, uh, you know, I think in five years we've made the playoffs five years. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good indication of our consistency. Uh, you know, I think this year was a, an unusual year in a number of areas, but uh, there's still a lot to go in this year with the playoffs. And, uh, you know, I think next year, uh, you know, is going to be a, a better year from some standpoint because, you know, obviously some decisions that were made in midseason now are going to be here at the beginning of next season like Clint Dempsey. And so you know how you're going to build your team. And when you're team building, you know, the key to team building is always that you determine you know who your key players are put them into into a position and then build around there well you know when that changes during the season that makes it a little difficult sometimes but but at the end of the day you know my focus is is colorado and is, is on that game and everything else you know is out of my hands and you know a coach always has his bags packed because you're going to get fired at some point anything else i'm kyle beckerman I'm Landon Donovan. I'm Dwayne Di Rosario. We love soccer. We train hard, we play hard, and we support with passion. When it comes to discrimination, we don't cross the line. No bullying, no racism, no sexism, no homophobia. No excuses, no exceptions. Don't cross the line. If you're playing, training, supporting, or coaching, don't cross the line.